Hello engineers, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to do motion planning on robots using genetic algorithms. We are going to design a motion planning algorithm for a UR5 robot, which is a robot arm or robot manipulator made by universal robots. This is the UR5 robot simulation that we have. Usually robot manipulators do their path planning in two ways which are Cartesian path planning and joint space path planning. In this video, we are going to discuss joint space path planning, which is done using genetic algorithms. Since our robot manipulators work in 3D space, we require six parameters to represent its location, which are X, Y and Z coordinates and the roll, pitch, yaw angles. The X, Y, Z coordinates represent the position and the roll pitch your angles represent the orientation. The position and orientation of the end effector is also called the position and orientation of a robot. Any particular state of a robot can be represented by the position and orientation of its end effector. Hence, by changing the position and orientation of this end effector, we would be able to tell the robot a goal state which the robot needs to reach. As we can also see over here, we are given six parameters that we can change to change the position and orientation of this end effector. The blue, red and green rings and the blue, red and green arrows. Now let us give a goal state to this robot, plan its path and execute that path. Now we have given a goal state to the robot that is changing in its position as well as its orientation. Let's plan a path between the start to the goal state. The robot has planned a path. Now let's execute it. Let's assign one more goal state and see how this works. So the motion planning algorithm that is working behind the scenes is genetic algorithm. Let us discuss its technical details. Path planning in robots is the problem where a robot is given a start and a goal position and the robot is required to find a path that takes it from the start to the goal. If we add certain constraints to the path planning problem like finding the minimum distance path or finding it in the most time efficient manner then the path planning problem can also be posed as an optimization problem. Mathematical optimization is the process of finding a value that either maximizes or minimizes a function while following certain constraints. Genetic algorithm is one such algorithm that is used for such optimization and search problems. Genetic algorithms come under the class of evolutionary algorithms which are inspired by the biological process of natural selection. Natural selection is a term coined by Charles Darwin where an organism evolves into a better organism that is well suited for its particular environment. A simple example would be of a giraffe that evolved from a shorter neck to a taller neck. Shorter giraffes which were not able to gather food for themselves could not survive. However, taller giraffes due to a particular characteristic were able to survive and have evolved into the long neck giraffes that we see today. 
genetic algorithms try to imitate this process of natural selection in a more computer science format. For instance, let us consider the example of a robot navigation problem. We are given the start state and the goal state. The robot is required to find a path starting from the start state that takes it to the goal state. Also, in addition to finding a path, that path should also be of minimum distance. This optimization objective of minimum distance is also called fitness function in genetic algorithm terms. To constrain the problem and make it slightly easier to solve, we introduce three intermediate nodes. We need to find the coordinates of these three intermediate nodes that the robot can follow sequentially to reach the goal while minimizing the distance. Hence, in terms of optimization, this problem poses as we want to minimize the distance traveled by tuning the parameters which are the x and y coordinates of those intermediate nodes. The parameters that we want to optimize in a genetic algorithm are stored in what are called an encoding vector. This encoding vector is also called genes. As we can see over here, this encoding vector stores the position coordinates of these three nodes x1, y1, x2, y2 and x3, y3. This algorithm starts by generating random encoding vectors. We generate multiple instances of the encoding vector which have random coordinate values. Visually, it would look something like this. We have a number of different robots that follow different nodes to reach the goal position. Each instance over here is also called an individual and each of these individuals contain their own encoding vector. A collection of these individuals is called a population. In the next step, we calculate the fitness value corresponding to each individual of the population. Fitness value is simply the value of the fitness function that has been computed on each of these individuals. We can scale the fitness function value arbitrarily. Usually, we take a scale of 0 to 1. A value of 1 represents a very good solution and a value of 0 represents a very poor solution. If we assume these values of the fitness function corresponding to these individuals, f equals 0.7 would mean that this particular individual is better than both of these individuals that have the score 0.5 and 0.6. In the next step, we select pairs of two best individuals and send them to the next module, which is crossover. Crossover is similar to the biological process of reproduction. In this process, two parents give rise to a new generation of individuals. A quick example would be the presence of a particular characteristic like blue eyes in a parent as well as their children. During the process, the genes corresponding to blue eyes would have been passed on from one of the parent to their offspring. In our process of crossover, the pairs that we selected in the previous step are going to be acting as parents over here. Two parent vectors are going to give rise to two new individuals. We randomly select a point for crossover, something like this over here, and exchange the values in these encoding vectors at this point of crossover. For instance, this red sequence over here was combined with this green sequence over here, giving rise to this individual. Similarly, the blue sequence over here and the black sequence over here are combined to give rise to a new individual over here. This particular method of crossover is also called single point crossover. There are other methods like multi point crossover, which can also be used based on our problem. For our problem of navigation, we can pose crossover as something like this over here. Assuming we have two different paths that take us to the goal, one is the blue one and the other is the green one. Assuming that during crossover, this vector and this vector were selected, combining the vectors of these two parents, we get a new individual that looks like this red path over here. 
since we are choosing the best fitness function values from this population over here it is highly likely that the individuals in the next generation are also going to have an increased or better fitness function values these newly generated individuals are then sent to the next module that does mutation biologically in mutation random variations are introduced in a gene due to random variation an individual may have certain characteristic that was not present in its parents or parents to parents similarly over here if we have our encoding vector we randomly select a particular gene from this encoding vector and change its value visually for our problem it would mean that we randomly changed the position of a node this node was first present over here then it randomly changes its position to something like this over here now mutation or random variations may or may not lead to a better solution either the random variation is quite favorable to that individual or it is quite harming and may reduce the fitness function value the point of mutation is to explore new and different solutions however mutation helps us find new local solutions which can be then further optimized by the crossover module once this set of processes is complete in our population we replace the lower fitness value individuals with the new individuals that we produced in this generation and then this cycle again continues this process would keep on going until some number of iterations or the fitness function value has crossed a certain threshold each cycle or iteration of this complete process is also called a generation now the objective of using a genetic algorithm is not to find the most optimal solution but to find good solutions for large scale problems where definite optimization techniques cannot be applied genetic algorithms are used genetic algorithms are quite fast compared to other optimization techniques and give not the most optimal but a really good solution taking an engineering example the tips of fast moving vehicles like aircrafts are designed using genetic algorithms the design of a tip of an aircraft has various different parameters that can be tuned to get a shape of the tip to find a good solution in such a large state space genetic algorithms are used also there are various different methods in which we can do population selection crossover and mutation instead of randomly initializing population population can also be initialized manually based on the context of the problem crossover can be done either single point or multi point and mutation can be done in a pseudo random fashion based on the problem varying the methods that we use for each of these processes we may have a different variation of the vanilla genetic algorithm each variation would be suitable for a particular kind of problem all right so this is all that we had to discuss for genetic algorithms now let us have a brief look at the code this code is uploaded on github and the link to this would be present in the description box below in addition to genetic algorithms we have also used what are called bezier curves the code over here does something similar to what we discussed in the navigation example for genetic algorithm the fitness function over here tries to minimize the distance that is traveled by the end effector of the robot between the start and the goal state we are choosing three intermediate nodes to plan the path between these five points three intermediate points the start and the goal point we use what are called bezier curves simply joining the points in a sequence would give a path that may not be smooth having a smoother path allows the robot to traverse it quite efficiently bezier curves provide a way to generate smooth paths between start and goal while taking in the intermediate nodes bezier curves are characterized by what are called control points if we have two control points then a bezier curve is simply a line joining them 
having more control points would help us control the shape of the curve but overall the curve would remain smooth in our case since we have five points we have five control points for the bezier curve more links to read about bezier curve would be present in the description box below this is the ga or the genetic algorithm function that takes in start joint values and goal joint values these start joint and goal joint values are simply the motor positions of each of the actuator of that robot as a first step we calculate the forward kinematics of this start joint and goal joint values forward kinematics is a simple mathematical operation where we take the joint values and convert them to 3d position and orientation in the form of a matrix then we have defined the fitness function over here the actual fitness function calculation is done by this calculate fitness function let's have a look at that the calculate fitness function takes in the start transform the goal transform and the solution start transform is the matrix that encodes the start position and orientation goal transform is the matrix that encodes the goal position and the orientation solution is a particular individual of the current generation in the calculate fitness function we collect the points that form the control points of the bezier curve which are the start point the goal point and the intermediate points we generate a bezier curve from these control points and return the inverse of the length of the curve having a smaller value of length would imply a greater fitness function value a greater fitness function value is what is required to be optimized by the genetic algorithm after setting the fitness function we initialize the different variables or hyperparameters we set the number of generations to 50 in each generation we are going to have 100 individuals number of genes is corresponding to the three intermediate points that we decided we are going to mate pairs of parents the range for encoding vector values is decided then we select the particular methods to use for parent selection crossover and mutation after deciding these hyperparameters they are then passed on to the gm module of the pygad library the pygad library provides an implementation for the genetic algorithm which we can directly use then we execute the ga algorithm and finally get our solution the different control points are then extracted from this solution a bezier curve is formed using these control points then equally spaced points are selected on that bezier curve these points are converted to joint values which are then sent to the robot which the robot can follow usually in problems of path planning for manipulator robots mathematical techniques are mostly used genetic algorithms are not majorly used for this problem the reason being genetic algorithm can not always give the optimal solution however we have used genetic algorithms over here only to illustrate that genetic algorithms can also be applied to the problem of motion planning all right so this is it that we had to discuss for this video if you like the video press the like button and subscribe to the channel for more such videos and thank you for watching bye